as a design engineer, how to design a groove for my system? I Google how to design a groove, but so many sources. Which should I use? There's so many listings on, on Google. My boss told me to use a yellow book, just looks like a bulletproof of paradise for an at &T. And how is it really gonna do? So many trademarks and acronyms of materials such as MBR, IR, FKM, Neoprene, Buna. Which one I should use? What is the difference between each other? My o ring's melting. It must be the, the temperature rating is not good. Should I use any higher grade materials, which just cost me 100 times what I'm currently using? How to simulate O-ring behavior? So many simulation models in the commercial finite element software. Which one I should use? As a quality manager, all the testing indicate both vendors have 99% identical material. Why is the O-ring performance are totally different? Is it, it is the same material, similar physical properties. FDR shows the same. How come? The vendor provide all the information compliant with specification, but the performance always fluctuated. Or you are a buyer, we always want to buy the best cost performance ratio product from a reliable and quality manufacturer. Besides all the quality standard which almost all the vendor claims there are certain degree of comply or qualified by AS9000 standard. Is there any other criteria to justify a good manufacturer? If you are a newcomer to the rubber industry and you have totally no clue where to study from, either from the physical properties, chemical properties, formulation, curing, everything is so overwhelming. Which one I should start? Hi guys, welcome to Ascent Ceiling channel. Jonathan's here. This channel will majorly discuss around rubber seal and oil you know, gaskets or washers, you name it. We found many professionals have a really hard time to purchase an oil. This is why we named this title as It's really hard to buy an O-ring My answer is... Depends But we're trying to solve that problem for you And we're trying to make you a, a better buying journey In the rubber industry, there are so many knowledge we need to learn Such as how to manufacture a good O-ring How to develop the, the formulations So we really need a full stack of engineers from application engineering down to the manufacturing and even quality engineers. We have the confidence to provide you the comprehensive knowledge regarding every single aspect of the rubber O-ring. Our mission is to reduce the hassle of buying an O-ring. So this channel will cover most of the manufacturing and chemicals, formulations, how to, how to look at the specification sheets, find a good O-ring vendors, such as those questions. So, we would like to share our passion on rubber technology with you. We will share our knowledge because we believe these knowledge can help you to reduce your hassle during development process and also reduce the development time. It is our turn to ensure you have the right choice. If you have any question you want us to answer, please listen below on the comment section. And if you like the, this video, please click the like button. And to support us, please click the subscribe button so we can continuously establish this channel. Thanks for watching. This is Jonathan. We'll see you next time.